If you are looking for a Shopify alternative that's easier to set up, easier to start your store, and doesn't have that pricing structure nonsense, I got you covered. It's called a Doken Cloud Shop. Let's go check it out because I'm going to show you how to set it up in minutes. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George and this is Doken Cloud Shop. You won't believe how easy it is to get started. Now, the first thing you want to do is jump over to the link in the description and start your 14 day free trial. No credit card needed because I'm going to show you how easy it is to start your store without that bunch of set of nonsense. Okay, so once you open up your store, you're going to head on over to this section and we're going to create our first website. We're going to set up our store. Okay, so it's going to create a new site. And in this section, we are going to select standalone shop. We want to start selling right away. Okay, so first off, we want to give our shop a name. And in this case, I'm going to say uh, my store uh, test just for testing purposes. Here we go. The link is available. Now, currently, this is set to a subdomain from ondoken.com, but you can set up your own custom domain. Plus, you can change the details later on, too. Okay, so let's go ahead and start creating the shop. Let's answer a few questions here. Just some few questions to know. Uh, who you are and what you do all right and let's go ahead and continue the country site language in this case i'll leave it english but there's several languages available in this case i'm just going to give it this address and i'm going to continue all right so it's going to take a few seconds and it'll be ready right away omg it is now ready and we're going to get started with the setup guide now you can go ahead and set up everything here or we can do everything here on the settings okay now if i go ahead on over to my site right now i have a live site right now okay so this is live i can go ahead and change it uh, obviously there is no products created because um, i haven't added any products but i have a store now okay so that's how easy it is let's go into configure general settings where you can change the store name in case you want to change it afterwards the time zone the site language currency the email address if you want to allow guest checkout in this case we do want to allow it so let's go ahead and save this and then we have the store visibility by default it's public so if you want to start this off and you want to go ahead and make it private or make it coming soon so they know what is coming that is possible too right here all right and then we have the units so depending if you're in the united states you want to use imperial uh, pounds inches etc if you are in a different uh, country you want to use metric kilograms centimeters etc right and the order prefix right here so once you're good to go save all that right there go back into the setup guide and then we're going to go into the payment settings now in this case we didn't finish the setup guide so we're going to go direct into the payment settings in the settings section. So let's go into payment right here. And these are the available payment gateways available as of this video. So you got Stripe. We got a test gateway. So if you want to test out our store, that is possible too by enabling this. Don't forget to turn this off once your site is live. OK, then you also have the option for PayPal cash on delivery. We're going to enable this and you also have the option to use bank deposit. All right. So you have all those available options right off the bat right there okay then back to setup guide we got our setup shipping again we didn't finish up settings there so we're going to go into settings again and we're going to go into shipping this is where you want to enable your shipping so go ahead and enable this unless you're only going to sell digital products but if you want to ship products go ahead and enable that all right and then select where you want to send out products by default it's anywhere in the world but if you only want to select countries go ahead and turn this on and add the countries where you are going to be shipping to. So only the countries where you're going to ship, right? In this case, I'm going to leave it anywhere in the world, right? So we're good to go with that. And then we have other settings like team members where you're going to add your team members to help you with the product loading, with your setup, etc. And that's if you have team members. If not, you're good to go, all right? You got your notification settings where you can enable what you want to get notified for. You got your tax settings. So depending on the country where you're from and the taxes that you're going to charge, go ahead and add the tax rules right there. Your SEO settings for search engine optimization. So you get visibility on search engines. So you got your title, site URL, all these details, your social share, the advanced site verification, your site maps, and practically you got everything available right here, right? Then you got your policies available there, right? And then we have the most important part of all, the products. How can we add products to start selling right away. So go to all products and you're going to be able to add a product one by one here, or you can bulk import. Or if you are using Doken Cloud Marketplace, you can also bring them from there uh, with the integration option over here in integrations. Okay. In this case, I'm going to load sample products because I want to make this super easy for you. So you understand how it works. Now, once those are loading, we have options available here in the tabs for the publish 
the draft and on hold, all right? By default, the loaded products that we just added for demo are draft, okay? Now, the idea that I'm showing you this is so you can understand the settings that will be available when you add your own products. So we got our product name, the slug, which is going to be the, the link for this. We got our product type. In this case, it's standard, but there's also an option for digital. This is a demo product, so it's standard, okay? You got your description, the category, the images that you're going to load here, the attributes, variations. So depending if this is a variation with sizes and all that, you want to enable this. You got your pricings, you got your inventory, you got your tax options. And on the right, we have the option to publish this right away. If you have brands available, if you don't have any brands, you can go ahead and load them over here on the left in the menu and add brands there, which, which is always a good idea, especially when you are sell selling clothing or something that's uh, phones, etc. It makes it easier for people to find because they might want to search via brand, okay? So no brands here, collection, no collections created, and no tax created. So I want to make this publish, so I'm gonna update this right here. And if I wanna preview this product right here, I will be able to do so because it is now live in the store. That means that this is visible now. So if you wanna start selling this product, it's available right now, okay? Next, let me go ahead and publish two more products so we can go ahead and see that in the website. Okay, here we go. I just enabled the three products. Let's go into our store and let's go check it out. Now, right now we are viewing the uh, demo template that is here by default. We're able to edit every single aspect of this demo template, which I'll show you in a bit. We're able to edit pages and do a whole lot with this, okay? So right now I just enabled three products for testing purposes. And now I'm able to add these products, go to continue shopping or go to cart in this case. So what I wanted to show you is how easy this process was to add products and to start selling right away. Now for the rest of the set of process of how the page is going to look, how the product pages, the pol privacy policy, the terms and conditions, etc., that will be available here in design. And there is a pages section and yes, it is way easier to get around than Shopify. Okay. So first off, we got pages and then we got themes, okay? So in pages, there's some default pages created that we can go ahead and jump inside of here and start modifying the details if we need to. So you got your details right here. Let's go into edit with the builder. And the beauty about this is that you can add elements into this page really easily with the Doken builder. So in this case, if I want to modify this about us, super easy, just highlight this and it's just plain and simple, easy, all right? Then you can add images, buttons, links, etc. And one of the good things that I like about Doken is that they even allow HTML. That means that inside of here, if I want to embed maybe a form builder, a chat, uh, whatever you want to add here, that is possible because they provide you the HTML to add an HTML code right here, which is pretty cool that they allow all of that. So everything can be modified, removed, deleted, etc. all with this builder, right? Now that's for individual pages. You got all the available pages there, here. You got all the available pages right here to go ahead and edit, publish, remove, delete, hide, etc. All available right there, okay? Then we have the theme. So in theme, by default, this is the current theme. So I can go ahead and customize the theme right here. And again, it's gonna be super easy to customize with the token builder. Now, if I want to edit the home page, I go ahead and select it, which is selected right now. But if I want to edit a different section, just go ahead and select it. And we're going to click on edit. So in this section, we got the builder to start changing the home page. So if I go ahead and select this, I have the details for the specific image. I can go ahead and remove this. I can go ahead and uh, duplicate it, move it around, change it, etc. It is just super easy by just selecting the elements. And you can see on the left that the editing features will be provided. So you got your content, you got the style and you got the advanced features for all of these sections. You even have custom CSS in case you really want to highly customize this if you have that knowledge, all right? So everything can be modified really easily right here. So right now this is the home page, but if I want to change a different section like the shop, that is possible too. Just go ahead and select it. Let's go ahead and leave out of here. And it's going to open up the shop where I'm able to edit these sections. So you can see here that there's different elements that we can use. For example, the price filter, availability filter, rating, etc. All that will be available for me to use here in the shop section. And again, I can change to a different page in the template, view the tablet mode, view phone mode, just to see how they are going to preview before I really want to go live, right? So what if I don't like the template? Well, they got templates too. So if I go to explore more templates, there's a bunch of templates that we can start using right away. 
So basically, if you have a business niche that fits into one of these templates, then it's a pretty good idea if you select one of these because it's going to save you a lot of time when making your site. Plus, they look pretty, pretty pro, right? So if you go to view demo, you can go ahead and check this one out, for example. And if you go ahead and like this, just go ahead and install it and start using it. So a lot of options available for the templates, right? Just go ahead and select any of the ones that you like right there, right? Now, next important thing is once we start selling, what is going to go on? Well, there's an order section where we're able to view all the processed orders right here. So we got completed orders, processing, pending, failed, canceled, and refunded all available right here. Now you have customers. Now you're, you started selling. You got your customer section in this section. You have your active, your inactive customers, and you can add customers manually right here. So if you want to take phone calls and you want to add customers, you can do so here. And it's just a good option to add them manually if you, if you need to, right? Then you got your marketing options. So if you want to create coupons to start giving promotions, which is always a good idea when you're starting off your store, you want to provide them that extra discount that is possible by adding coupons here. Okay. So you got all these available options for coupons to start selling right away. Plus you got your analytics here in the dashboard for everything that's going on in your store. Well, that is Doken Cloud Shop. You can see how easy this was to set up way easier than Shopify. So definitely if you want to get started right away, check out Doken Cloud Shop in the link in the description. And that is a wrap.